Hello and welcome to this quick video showing you the document browser for Notion iOS 2.5. Here's my iPad with the only four apps you'll ever need. I'm going to just tap Notion. And you'll see Notion now comes up with this very Apple looking files manager. You can see all the locations on the left hand side. As you can see I have iCloud Drive and Dropbox and OneDrive and Google Drive all set up within the files manager. And I can navigate between those just by tapping them between iCloud Drive or looking at documents on my iPad or in Dropbox, etc. I'm going to go into the iCloud Drive Notion folder. I've got a fair number of scores, so if I want to search or sort for them, what I can do is drag down, which reveals this hidden panel here, where I can sort the files by their name, the date they were modified, their size, the type of files. As you see, I've got some uh, audio files in there and some music XML files, and you can sort by those too. I can add tags to them if I want to and sort by tags, uh, but let's just sort by date for now. You can also choose whether to have them uh, listed like this or at the tiles or in columns. So we now have all these search tools. And talking of search, if you're just on the normal home screen, just drag down from the middle of the screen just to reveal the search bar. And now you can search for your Notion files. And I can see my Riff Notion file. I can also search for Riff Raff in Rocky Horror if I wanted to, but that's, that's a slightly different video. While we're here, if you long press the Notion icon, you'll see the most recent files that you've made. And you can just tap that arrow there to give you more. And you can actually scroll down. Um, to have a quick peek at some of your files and you can just hit one and then open. Let's go back to Notion. If I long press one of these documents, I also have various things I can do with the document itself, whether copy, duplicate, I can delete it, I can show the info, the size, I can rename it, or I can immediately share from here as well using the inbuilt Apple Sharer. So I can send it over to people through AirDrop or through my email or through Skype, etc. Now, if you're on phone, you don't have this left-hand panel um, here showing all the locations. You just have the um, buttons at the top where it says iCloud Drive next to an arrow. And you can use that to navigate through all your folders um, if you wish to on your phone. So let's create a new document. Now, you'll see this icon in the top left here saying Create Document. This is also the same as the top, very top right, that small blue cross there will do the same thing. But basically, this Create Document icon will remain in this position all the time, no matter what location you're in. And that's how you designate where you want to save the document from its initial open. So I'm already in iCloud Drive, and that's why I want to save it. But I'm not in my Notion folder at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to tap on the Notion folder. And you can see Create Document is still there. So when I create it now, it's now creating that document in that location. Now what pops up next is a template browser. There's a few things on this screen here. The first thing that's sort of flashing at me is untitled, and we can give the document itself a name. Now, this is separate to the actual title of the score that you'll see on the page. You don't have to give it a name. It will just put the day's date in um, if you don't put one in, but we'll just put one in for now. My piece. And I have some different options here. I could just very quickly hit uh, just to set up with one treble staff if I wanted to, or set up as a, a lead sheet or a base staff. And these are all templates. These three at the top just set up a very basic one. If you're not sure for what instruments you're going to write for yet, you could just get going and get writing with those top templates there. Underneath, we have all the templates you've had before with the choral one there, brass quintet, brass band, rock band, and jazz combo. But for now, we're just going to keep on choose instruments because we want to do that. And once we're ready, we can press continue or enter on the keyboard, and that will create the score and then open up our instrument selector. Now I can select my instruments. As you can see, uh, we now support properly uh, Apple's dark mode. And there we have our score. Well, that's uh, an unusual combination. I think I might write for this again. So what I can do now is save this as a template. So I'm going to hit the export button on the toolbar, make sure we have Notion files selected, and then save as template. Continue. We can call this something. OK, so behind the scenes, that's save that as a template. So when we go back to the home screen again and press uh, Create Document, if I scroll down, you can now see my template is ready to go, tenor and cello. Another title, my next piece, and continue. So we now have templates. 
while we're just in the export menu, I'll just quickly mention that you can now send as an MP3 file. We also have Sheet Music Plus Press, and this basically bundles up the full score and all the parts in score order into one single PDF. And then you can just upload that into SMP Press if you wish to. Uh, SMP Press is a portal for self-publishing composers and well worth checking out. Uh, as the home screen itself is now replaced by this document browser, uh, just to show you that the feedback button, the all important feedback button, if you are having issues or want to ask a question, hit the question mark here and you'll see the help files which have been updated with this new information. And feedback is the button to press um, if you're having some issues. Um, let us know what version you're running. You'll see there it says Notion 2.5, and I'm, uh, as of speaking, it's 2.1.3. Um, and you can let us know what version you're running, and we can help you. That's about it on the document browser, but there are many more fixes in this update. So pop along to our blog at presonus.com to read our exhaustive and exhausting list of fixes, or join our Facebook group that's brand new. It's Presonus Notion Users, and it's part of our official Facebook page, Notion by Presonus. Thanks for watching and see you again.